course I dream and I don't want to dream. I don't want to see him shipwrecked, killed, dying of fever. Yes, he's faint. Do you think he's dead? Cobbs never lost. <laughs> I had finding you. What happened to you after the theater last night? Did, did you fly off in a balloon? <laughs> Becky, you mustn't just say. Emmy, how can I face you here, looking like this? Ah. Uh. Joseph, my gentle friend. Ah, oh, that's better. I thought you were going to throw me out. You know, that brush in my, in my stomach wasn't very cordial. Emmy, what are you doing here? Why did you come? Nothing could have kept me away. Oh, but when Joseph came home and said that he'd seen you, why... I said, Emmy? I've just seen Becky cutting capers. <laughs> she said you didn't. I said I did capers. We've gone on arguing for hours. But, but, but Dobbin arrived with, with a pana. Dobbin? Is he with you? Are you married to him? Oh, no, he, he just happened to accompany me. <laughs> he's been happening for years. What I mean to say is accompanying Emmy. At this very moment, he's, he's down in the tap room, accompanying a mug of beer. <laughs> he wouldn't come up. To, he still remembers. Oh, God, Becky. The past must be forgotten. Oh, not that he had such a mess. I've been too sick, too dejected to put things in order. Oh, it doesn't matter, dear. We always used to sit on the bed for our talk. Oh, come sit by me. Oh, me. Yeah. Oh. 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 Becky, I, I still have your little bed up in my house. Oh. How would you like to have it again for your very own? Mm. I offer it to you with, with all the old affection. Amelia. Oh, can't stay here. Come and live with me. Oh, this is a dream. Dream, eh? Well, it isn't. <laughs> you must go. go down to Dobbin in the tap room. Becky and I have much to say that's not for strange ears. My ears strange? They're the same ones I've worn for, for 40 years. <laughs> Did you mean what you said? Do you know what you're doing for me? You're saving me from myself, from this, from Pitt with his luring charity in his clammy hand. I've written him a letter, pleading for money. You have no need of him now. No, I can go with you. Oh, for the first time in years, I'm happy again. I can breathe. You've done this for me. You, Emmy, you. Oh, always you've been like a sister to me, always. Come in. Oh, you've decided to come up after all. Amelia, Joseph has just told me that you've asked Mrs. Crawley to... Oh, I knew it. It was too good to laugh. You've asked her to come and live with you. She told you the truth, William. Becky's the oldest friend I have in the world. She wasn't always a friend to you. I don't care to remember that. Isn't there such a thing as forgiveness? Forgive her if you will. Help her. Give her money, but don't take her with you. She needs me. She's hard. She's selfish. She'll take advantage of you. As your friend, I can't let you do this. Promise me you won't. I've given you the devotion of a life. This is the only favor I've ever asked of you. If you deny me, this will mean the end of our friendship. I must do it right. Then goodbye. William! You're in love with the man. You can't live without him. It would break your heart to lose him. Emmy, I'm not coming home with you. I'll not let you do this. I'll send you back to Dobbin, no matter how much you take of me. <laughs> Don't give up, love. Don't let it be taken from you by me or anybody else. Fight for it. Keep it. It doesn't come often. But you, you... Don't worry about me. I'll manage. Go downstairs. He'll be waiting for you. Take his hand. Ask him to marry you. Oh, I'll never marry him. You will? Why shouldn't you? Because of George. I must be true with memory. His love. Love? Why, you fool, you monkey. He never really loved you. He uh, did. I'll prove it to you. No matter what you say or think, he did. Oh, he was never faithful to you. He made love to me because you were hardly married to him. Your husband in heaven. Oh, here it is. You know the handwriting. 
He wrote this to me, sent it to me in Brussels, right under your unsuspecting little nose. Now you know. Now you're free to forget the past. Go to the man who really loves you. Marry him. Go on, go on. I say, Emmy, did you and Dobbin have, have a breeze? Just you're drunk. Drunk? <laughs> I drunk. <laughs> this is an injustice. Am I her only brother? Similarly, is she my only sister? Similarly, where is, is, is she running to? To Dobbin. She's going to marry him. Huh? Why, well, I, I think that's, that's, that's good. Well, what's the matter with you? What have you lost? Lost my heart out of my bosom to see my sister bless such a truth. Why weep? They'll be happy, but they haven't stolen all the happiness in the world. I think they have. Would you like to sit down and be just as happy as they are? Yes. Do you like brandy, Joseph? Well, how, how would it sit with, with, a, with a beer in there? Perfect. Extra fine cognac. We have biscuits and golden soda. We'll have a little feast. Do you mind sharing the plate with me? No, quite the contrary. I'll, I'll even share the, the bottle. Have only one night. I'm ashamed to admit. Isn't it enchanting? Enchanting. You're, you're enchanting too. <laughs> drink hearty, drink deep. A million years have passed since we drank together. Or slept together undisturbed. Returning glance for glance. Smile for smile. Gorgonzola for, for, for Gorgonzola. To the happy two people. To the memory of the past. <laughs> and the joy of the present. When two people meet again and they agree. That's it. Agree. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I honor the Frenchman To pitch their little tent or little cottage. With the trees and stars above. Them. I honor the stars above. <laughs> and the murmuring of moon. Perfume of flowers. Does that fetch you, you dear gay fellow? It's you that are gay, Becky. Gay and, and, and gallant. Come, come, come closer, Becky. Oh, Josh, you frighten me. You're so intense. Intense, but, but honorable, Becky. Tell me, are you a widow? Yes or no, because you must become... My widow next. Later, later we'll talk about it. Now you must help me pack. I've had enough of all this. We're going. Going? Well. Mayfair, India, anywhere. Away from all this. Well, we can't figure. I, I have no money. No money? You are poor? Who dares accuse Joseph Waterloo Zelly of poverty? No, it's just that I, I have no cash. We have to wait here for a week until my next month of land comes. But I can't wait. The landlord will have me jailed by then. Speak of the devil. Who's there? It's I, Rebecca, and Jane. Jane! My letter, they've come. What shall I do? Let, let, me, let me throw them out. Wait. Perhaps they're a blessing in disguise. Sister! Brother! I'll get it from Pitt. Oh, darling Jane, I can't believe it's really you. One moment, I must make myself presentable. I'm out of the window. If Pitt finds you here, I'll never get the money from you. I'm out. I can't. This cheese is gone to my head. I'm almost ready. Quite ready. Hey. Oh, Jane, what are you my Jane, my forgiving kinsman, to see you again, to feel my hands in yours after such a long time. Your letter came, Rebecca. Our hearts were deeply touched by your plight. My prayers have been answered. Yes, we've come to rescue you. To restore you to the bosom of our family, to the tranquility of Queen's Crawley. Queen's Crawley? Why, no, But before we do that, my dear, you must cleanse your soul. Ah. Rebecca, would it not make you happy to go to church with us before we talk of anything else? Oh, I'd go happily, happily. As soon as I settle with the landlord, he'll not let me leave the house until I pay the money I owe him. Isn't the peace of your soul more urgent? Yes, but so is the landlord, urgent. Um, I, I trust it's not a large amount. Oh, no, 200 pounds. Settle with him for 35. 
150. Uh, 50 then. Make it 100, brother. Then we can go and listen to the sermon. Oh. Thank you. What was that?